As a doctor, I receive a plethora of questions from new moms every day and I have noticed that among these mothers, many of them have opted for bottle feeding due to its ease and flexibility. Of all the advice I offer, I always emphasize on the importance of exclusive breastfeeding for the first 6 months of age. Even the WHO and UNICEF echo this statement. And for a little extra support to help you in this crucial time of breastfeeding journey, I recommend Gallet Lactation Granules. Gallet lactation granules contains shatavari and six other powerful herbs that are known to increase the breast milk quantity naturally. Gallet has been crafted with every mother in mind and it can be taken up to six months postpartum and at least twice a day. So let Gallet be a part of your breastfeeding journey and your daily routine. Say no to bottled milk and celebrate the magic of mother baby bond and your breastfeeding journey with gallic lactation granules because we all know nothing can replace the mother's milk. Let me now discuss the other solutions to naturally increase the breast milk production. So number one on the list will be diet. Try to incorporate galactogogs every day in your diet. Some of the galactogogs are shatavari, fenugreek, green leafy vegetables, proteins and if there are other galactogogs that you are taking you can continue the same. Number two is skin to skin contact. Engage in frequent skin to skin contact with your baby as this naturally increases the breast milk production and strengthen the bond between the mother and the baby. Number three is nursing on demand. Breastfeed your baby on demand that is whenever they start showing early hunger cues. By this you are going to frequently feed your baby and this unrestricted breastfeeding sessions will naturally boost the breast milk supply. Number four is avoidance of pacifiers and bottles. Try to avoid as much as possible these pacifiers and bottles because if the baby sucks on these artificial nipples that will prevent them from coming on to the breast and decreases the duration and frequency of breastfeeding. Number five is pumping especially power pumping. Try to incorporate pumping in your daily routine if you are facing low milk supply also that will increase the breast milk naturally. So especially when you do pumping after the feeding session and also the power pumping which means uh, intense short periods of pumping which mimics cluster feeding will increase the breast milk production. Next one is breast warm compresses and massage. Try to incorporate warm compresses on your breast especially before feeding which will stimulate the milk flow and alleviate any discomfort while feeding. And also you can do a gentle breast massage which will increase or stimulate the milk production. What are the things that has to be avoided in your breastfeeding journey? Number one is caffeine. Excessive caffeine consumption can decrease your breast milk supply and also alter your baby's sleep patterns. Number two is avoid stress and avoid self-doubts as these negative emotions can interfere with breast milk production. Always trust your body that your body will produce enough milk for your baby. Number three is inadequate rest. Prioritize your rest, your well-being, your self-health during your breastfeeding journey because fatigue and exhaustion can negatively impact on your overall health, well-being and thereby breast milk production. I hope all the points that I have discussed are very very helpful for the new moms out there. Thank you so much for the patient listening.